Okay, so now that we've done all this um, work inside of our navbar.html, we need to make sure that we save all this. Um, so we're just going to copy it all here. And it should then be wrapper at the moment. And then into here, get rid of that, drop that in there. And come to our index.html and it's all back to normal again. So um, I have actually saved it all oops, through Git as well. So don't worry about that. You can completely copy this later. Okay, so let's move on with this this one here. And as you can see at the moment, we're like on maybe I don't know, an hour and 20 minutes or something. Um, okay, so let's close this down, close this and come to the index.html and once again we'll do this then right navbar.html and we're going to copy all this We are interested in logo here. So this is this is what we're interested in now. So let's move all this out of the way. Just this. Starts here. So why am I doing this? I'm doing this so I, I just concentrate on this one area, all right? And we'll then come to here and say write navbar.html. It all looks exactly the same. And we'll then come here and say write navbar.css. Oops. And come here. Right enough by dot CSS. So good. So navbar, and we're going to call this right navbar. Let's run right navbar section. Sounds a bit better. So just to make sure that our CSS is working, background color equals green. Yep. Okay. Let's knock out any. Oh, okay. Right. I did have it in this one already. So let's remove all these. And these are just then the sizes for. Uh, boxes all right that's all green okay so this profile navbar column one column two just the sizes of the boxes we're not worried about we're not interested in the content there all right so box number one is then um, sorry we'll start with tweet box first of all okay so we'll come here and we'll say tweet button and this is going to be then margin and we'll give it a margin of 